All right, speaking of ways to help American consumers deal with energy prices, my next guest runs the country's largest natural gas distribution network and says America has the supply to become energy independent, but the lack of infrastructure means a long road ahead. Joining me now is Marion Brown. She's president of SoCal Gas. They're part of Semper Energy, whose shares are trading just off their all-time high. Marion, it's great to see you. So t what is the, the infrastructure headwind that you're facing right now? Well, I think that what we see, Kelly, and great to be on the show, is um, a, a significant amount of potential resource in renewable electricity as well as renewable gas and um, as well as traditional natural gas. And so the supply and the resource is there. And where we want to work with government is in infrastructure investment. And we saw um, a movement in that direction with the enactment of the bipartisan infrastructure package that included those kinds of policies, including supporting um, uh, investment in hydrogen infrastructure that we at SoCal Gas are very keen on. So just explain to me what the infrastructure need is, you know, as, as sort of specific as you can be. How would that affect Southern California households' ability to get their gas more cheaply? Well, I would say in the in the near term, in the short term, what our customers are experiencing is driven by supply and dyna uh, demand dynamics. And specifically in the natural gas space, um, we saw we've been seeing natural gas prices higher even before the crisis in Ukraine. And um, we are incentivized to help our customers to reduce their demand. And that helps with bills. By that, I mean the price of the, the commodity for us is a pass through to our customers. So the kinds of tools that we use are weatherization and energy efficiency, um, as well as uh, support on their bills. But in the long term, we think that there needs to be investment in infrastructure to support um, renewable gases like renewable natural gas and hydrogen infrastructure. And in fact, we announced a proposal two weeks ago to build a, the country's largest green hydrogen infrastructure proposal. And we think that that's supported um, by the hydrogen hub initiatives that they have in Washington, D.C. And you think that would bring bills down for households? It will bring supply and increasingly cleaner supply um, as we transition to um, cleaner and cleaner energy as we move forward in the clean energy transition. Understood. Miriam, great to have you here today. Thank you so much for your time.